how to operate Lucia for lead generation. So I was doing some prospect searches right here. And if you don't know how to do them, you can come and click on this option right here that says search, All right? Now here, you can choose some filters. For example, you can even choose it by a company name if you want a specific company to target, maybe Apple or Google. I'm gonna go ahead and choose industry. We will do the construction industry, okay? Construction, let's look for that right here. We have, well, let's do building construction, all right? And we wanna go ahead and look for companies that have, let's do at least 1,000 people. Let's see how much that lowers the contacts to. About 6,000 companies have over 1,000 people and they're construction companies. And I can choose a location if you wanna target a specific location. Let's go ahead and do Florida, right? Florida, United States. There we go. You can even go by zip code as well. Now we have 50 contacts. Now, of course, if you want to go ahead and look for something very specific, maybe, you know, a specific job title, maybe some guy in the purchasing department. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Let's see how many we get. There is none. There is none. But what we could do, I guess there's no people. <laughs> let's do let's do a manager. All right. A site manager. So if you want to target the site managers, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what that comes up with. We have it very, very targeted at this point. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here. So these 50 people, we have director of sales, contractor support specialist, construction manager. Okay, now that we have only 50 contacts, you know, we can just go ahead and, and just look through their titles. Let's say I want the field advisors. So I want to target this guy and him. Jason said, let's also get Alejandro here. All right. Now, if you want to go ahead and show their details, for example, this guy, we cannot see his details right now until we use one credit to go ahead and get his details. So just come here, click on show details, and then you'll see the details being revealed. And if you come here, click on action, you can add these people to your list. And my list right here is outreach. So I have an outreach list. I'm going to go ahead and press continue. All right. So it's going to save it to my contacts. If you want someone specific, let me unselect this. If you want to get someone specific, maybe John right here. You can, you don't even have to highlight this one. So it's just one person. Just come and click on show details. And then what we're going to do is click on save to. Let's go ahead and do list. And then we'll add it to our outreach list. Okay, now I've been adding contacts to our list. So if you want to go to access your list, come here at the left panel. You'll see it down here under your list. It's called outreach, right? So I have it right here. So what you need to do now is you can either, right, export to your CRM. So if I can't uh, click on specific people, these options show up. Or if you want to select everyone, just come here, click toggle this option on, it would select everyone. And I can either export this to your CRM, your client relationship management tool. You can select from the available platforms. They have integrations available with Salesforce, HubSpot, Outreach, right? Pipedrive, even Zoho and Bullhorn. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. For this, you would need to connect to your CRM. Or you can just go ahead and export to a CSV. Right, and then you can do things like mail merge and stuff like that with it. So just come and click on export to CSV. It will start downloading. You can open this up and now you'll have all of their details available for you to go ahead and prospect. Really easy and simple. So I hope this helped you out.